Hey there, I just want to make a quick video of my drying cabinet. It's nothing too technical. Uh, pretty simple all the way around. Um, it's mostly just made out of scrap wood that I had laying around. Um, and I'll also walk through all of the little pieces that I have um, as far as... Um, and I'll put this in the description. Um, the links to the description. Just a simple dehumidifier. A heater for the winter time. Um, some power and I pulled one of these out. These are just simple computer fans to get air moving in the box. Um, I don't know if it's necessary to have that much air movement, but I drilled some holes so that the air can move through the box. Um, and we've had a pretty rough winter this year and um, it really did a good job with the heater and the, and the fans of moving enough air and keeping it warm enough in the box to um, dry fans, I mean dry screens very quickly. So I would say that in an hour, my screens are completely dry and ready to go. Um, and uh, I also have this, have this, it's a thermometer slash um, humidity gauge, just so I can keep track to make sure that um, it's not too humid or too, um, or too cold in my box. So um, really simple construction. Just a couple pieces of OSB. Um, it's probably a total of one full sheet of OSB. And, um, and like I said, I'll put the, the dehumidifier, the heater, the fans, the power source um, in the description. So you can't really see this, but so this is my airspace where I have my fan and my heater. Um, I have my heater and my fan in a separate compartment just so I have more room for more screens. Uh, right now it fits eight screens um, at a time and I just slide them in like this so that they're laying horizontally and um, it hasn't been a problem. So. so basically I just have my humidifier, my heater, and my power source are all in this little tiny compartment here. So that I have more room for the screens. I, uh, I have a computer fan on this side. I have a computer fan here and then I have a computer fan blowing uh, air out. I do disconnect that. Um, I do disconnect this outside one during the winter time and cover it up just so that in the winter time when it's cold I'm not, I'm not forcing cold air inside. So in the summertime, I'll, I'll use this fan and also I'll sometimes take the heater, the heater off just depending on how warm it is. I'm in California and in the summertime it gets over 100 degrees. So, um, so sometimes I don't use the fan at all um, and I just use airflow. In the wintertime, I take the airflow from outside of the box out and I turn the heater on um, just to keep it nice and warm and um, it'll dry your screens faster, obviously. In this side here, it's not even attached, I just have this out. In this side here, I just have my two by ones. Um, I cut a little angle in it so it's easier to slide the screens in. Um, they're screwed and glued on here. This is the hole, this is the hole that I have my computer fan in to help move the air across from this side to that side, um, going from warm across the screens. And um, I also have some, I don't know if you can see that here, I have some holes drilled here just to have more airflow coming from this warm section into the area where the screens are stored. So as far as the construction goes, it's nothing too complicated. It's just a nice, nice, uh, simple couple cuts on the, of OSB. Um, this here is a two by two box that houses the heater and the humidifier, um, dehumidifier. And um, this is just, you know, it's just a couple of two by twos, some screws, and nothing too complicated. Um, uh, this is the power source that I use. It's got plenty of plugs um, for the heater and the dehumidifier. But the one thing, the one reason why I use um, something like this is because it has USB, has USB um, outlets. So it, that, that makes it easy to run. Um, the computer fans, I'm sure there's other ways to move the air through, but the computer fans were relatively cheap and uh, just a simple just a simple square cutout was easy to just install them. I didn't screw them into the didn't screw them into these at all. I just stuck it in.
when everything's put together so i just have the power the power coming out this hole and because because there's that partition in between there's no light gets into it or anything like that this is the computer fan that i was talking about that again in the winter time i'll cover this one up um, and disconnect it just so it's not sucking cold air into the box um, and then in the summertime um, I, I use this one I also put handles on this thing because because it's made out of OSB. It's actually it's actually fairly heavy. I think it probably weighs about 50 or 60 pounds, and it's pretty large, uh, very hard to hard to move around. So I put a handle on it just to make it easy to move. And finally, this is the this is where the air comes out. So the air comes out here, exits the box. Um, I have another handle on this side, and um, these are the these are the hinges that I use. Just really simply screwed them in um, i will show you where i went with so what i did was was use a two by two here on the edge just so that i have something to screw had something to screw the hinges into the screws come out here just a little tiny bit and um, at some point i'll file those down someday when it actually pokes me and hurts me i'll i'll file them down but for now they're just kind of left there exposed um, I don't know if you can even see them. They're barely sticking out there, but just makes it really easy to screw the hinge in um, to something solid. Um, again, these pieces are just OSB, OSB on the top, bottom, back, front. Um, really easy, simple. If you can, if you can use a handsaw, um, you know, something that something that's pretty easy to cobble together. One thing that you might notice is that there is a little gap here um, I've had no problems with it it hasn't um, allowed enough light in to affect my screens but uh, but I also work in a garage so there's no direct sunlight um, if you're gonna be somewhere where there's direct sunlight you might want to put a little piece of foam padding just to make sure that um, the, that it uh, makes a seal so that there's no light coming in but I've been using this for over a year and I've had no light leakage problems at all and um, this little box is something I built for probably $65, $75 um, total, including the heater and the dehumidifier. And uh, like I said, it's just something simple that's worked out really well and um, rel relatively inexpensive to make. So hope you, can, hope you can get some thoughts or some ideas out of this and uh, maybe make something of your own or something like this. Um, and hopefully it uh, increases your screen printing ability and enjoyment. Hope you have a great day, thanks.